it's a lot going on. And um, I, I think the difference between cinema from back in the day versus what we have now is that more things are going on right now. You know, with silent films, with black and white films, I feel like it's a much slower pace. And it's very hard, I think, for me at least, to watch older films because of the speed. But this script was just, there was so much detail to it that I had to stop, go back, and make sure that I got all of it. And it was exciting, it was exhilarating, it was um, wild and creative. And, and I, I still ask Damien to this day, even though we're halfway through shooting, where he gets his inspirations. <laughs> I think she is the epitome of strength, of beauty, of grace, elegance, and, and, and stillness. And despite uh, all the pain that she had endured being an American-born Chinese and all the rejection that she's faced, um, I think it's also created who she is. And I always try to remember that I have to balance these two, especially playing this version of, of who Damien wants to portray. Nellie is just a spitfire of just ball of energy, of raw energy, and I think she is everything that Lady Faye is not, and I think that's why she was very attracted to her, because you see this raw talent uninhibited, unfiltered, and uh, just, I think it's a breath of fresh air for her. My challenge in bringing her to life is I want to play her as authentically to who she's based on as possible. Uh, I think the nuance of her history is so delicate because it's so easy to misunderstand some of her numbers as racist or stereotype be, or stereotypical because without context, it can be misunderstood as just that. But I, I have to make sure that I can I convey the, the pain that she goes through and the sacrifices that she has to make in order to be accepted is who she is, and hence the reason why she plays into the fetishization of who she is at that time. So much of it, I, the, the attention to detail, the, the tiny, every single thing, the earrings, the colors, the story behind the fabric, what she wears when, what feelings she's going through, what she has gone through, it's amazing. Every single thing that my character wears in this film, I personally think, and I think a lot of people will agree with me, that she has some of the best wardrobe in this film. Everything has so, been so beautiful from, you know, the theaters around here, downtown LA, to especially last week when we filmed in my parents' laundromat. Um, I wasn't even born then, and nor did I ever spend any time in a Chinatown in America during that time, but it could not have felt more authentic and it brought me right into it. It was so emotional just being in on a set like that um, with my parents. It took not a lot of effort to get there because it was so real. And then my character's bungalow was so beautifully designed. I, I was emotional at being there. It was amazing. I think Diego is the most perfect actor. He is Manny. I, I know that it took Damien a really long time to find him, but he has found his Manny. Damien is incredibly imaginative and he's so visually clear on exactly what he wants and how he wants it to look. And he knows exactly how to communicate that with everyone, including how to speak with us actors when it comes to directions. I love that he pays so much attention to detail. And I love that we have the comfort of knowing that we will never move forward 
in a scene, in a take, unless he's happy. He's also on top of that um, genius that he is. He's also kind and humble and goofy and just so incredibly funny and collaborative. He's just incredible to work with, such an honor. Jovan's character, Sydney, um, and Lady Faye have uh, similar struggles. I think that's the core reason of why they are really good friends. They both deal with discrimination, have dealt with it their entire lives and their careers, and that really brings their, they, have, they share the same cynical sense of humor.